hi welcome by the time you'll be watching this the new year will be in full swing however i am still trapped in 2020 and i don't want to be but you know the year coming to an end has given me a lot of time to reflect think about the last year think about things that made me feel good and things that made me feel terrible so i'm setting out to make some goals for the upcoming year and considering that it's new year season it's such a weird like speck of time after the holidays end and the new year hasn't quite begun and then there's just like that holiday deficit for the first couple of months of the year it's weird but anyway i'm creating my goal list and it's pretty much just like my new year's resolutions at this point and i would like to share them because i really want to make sure that i hold myself accountable that i follow through and most importantly that you know, around this time next year, I can really see if I improved and enjoyed that or if I need to do something different. With that being said, here are my New Year's resolutions. Number one is to eat less processed food. For those of you who know me in real life, I have been a vegetarian for a really long time say like five or six years at this point um and this is for two main reasons i think the meat industry is terrible to animals and just really gross in general like it, the conditions that animals are raised under and the treatments that they are given um on a very like large industrial level are really disgusting and I don't want to put that into my body and I don't want to put an innocent animal through that just for the sake of feeding me. And secondly, I want to reduce my carbon emissions and one of the ways that I'm focusing on doing that is by eating less meat because once again, like the large meat industry as a whole does produce a lot of carbon emissions and leads to pollution and degradation of ecosystems it's really a huge burden on mother earth so i don't eat meat because of those two main reasons now the problem with that is though is that even though i'm a vegetarian i still eat a lot of processed foods and anyone who has been you know vegetarian or vegan for a while and is interested in environmentalism and reducing their carbon impact and creating more sustainable and renewable sources of energy will tell you that not all vegetarian slash veganism is green and is good for the earth. I eat more foods that are grown locally so they don't have to be transported as far. Thankfully, I live in an area where that's really easy to do because it's very agricultural out here. Like I can drive like a, a couple of streets down and I'll just be like at a field. And I know that's really hard for a lot of people, especially people living in cities and food deserts. So because I live in a place where I can do that, I would like to try to and really see how that changes my outlook on, you know, what I'm eating and my appreciation for what I'm eating. <clears throat> Number two on my list is that I want to learn more recipes. So this kind of goes back to my eating less processed food. I want to make sure that I know how to cook all of these raw veggies and things that I'm going to be cooking with. One thing that I really want to learn how to do is I want to learn how to bake my own bread. We, my mom knows how to do it and uh, she and my sister bake a lot, but I cannot bake for the life of me. <laughs> And I just think it would be such a cool thing to be able to like show up to people's houses and be like, I baked you bread, here you go. One of the things that I enjoy a lot about food is cooking. So cooking more recipes, making more food, getting to try new flavors and tastes and dishes, that really excites me. Number three is I want to run more. At the beginning of the year, I was running a lot, and then right now, I'm barely running at all. And I really miss having a run partner, yeah, but at the same time, I also just think that I need to 
focus on this journey on my own for a little while because I have goals that I want to achieve and nobody knows those goals better than myself. And I just really enjoy where I live and it's really beautiful out here. So why not run and experience that beauty just foot to pavement out there enjoying that beautiful crisp ocean air. And number four, last but not least, I really want to make more content. I actually really enjoy making videos and the planning them out and getting inspiration and setting up my room so that it looks pretty cute because usually it doesn't look like this. So all those things make me really happy and I, I don't know, I really want to try out this YouTube stuff and really making content, showing people my books, teaching people about poetry. So I, I really enjoy making content on here and I want to do that more. So those are my New Year's resolutions. Those are my goals for this year. As the year progresses, I'll probably try to make like more quantitative goals. Like, you know, like I want to eat, have one meal a week where I, nothing in my nothing in my meal is processed or you know uh, one day a week I want to make sh I want to make every single food that I eat by hand you know or you know and this is what I was doing like earlier with my run partner but it was like okay so I'm running a 13 minute mile I want to get it down to 12 now I want to get it down to 11 so stuff like that like I just like want to run faster and further and then with making more content, be like, okay, well, I'm gonna make one video video a month, or I'm gonna make two videos a month, or I'm gonna make one really long video this month, but it's gonna be really, really well researched, and I'm gonna have pictures and you know music or whatever. I just really want to like sit down and sketch out my timeline for these goals pretty soon. But for now, at least I have just kind of like, okay, I know what direction I want to start moving in. That being said, feel free to share what your New Year's resolutions are. What are some goals that you set for yourself in 2020 that you completed? What are some goals that you're carrying with you into 2021? Because I know that there are some goals that I set for myself in 2020 that I like almost got to in 2021. And I remember there are some goals that I set in the beginning of 2020 that honestly, I do not care about in 2021. So... And there were, there were things that like, as time went on, just became more and more irrelevant. And I realized I was like, wow, I really much rather focus my energy onto this than that. So tell me what your goals are. Tell me what your resolutions are. Tell me about the things that you achieved and things that didn't work out. Just let me know. Have an absolutely wonderful day. Stay safe, stay hydrated.